let, let's look at this question on complex numbers uh, or complex number. So z is equal to x plus i y is a non-zero complex number and z plus 1 over z is equal to k where k is real. Prove y is equal to 0 or x squared plus y squared is equal to 1. Now this is an excellent question I've taken from 2003 exam paper I think so. So yeah, when you see this type of question, you start wondering where can I start if you don't know how to start. So I would uh, recommend, or I tell my students like this, when you don't know what to do, do what you know. Okay, so what do I mean by that? You know certain things and uh, you have to use those things to get to your results. So what is that you know? Okay, so I know, so let me write that, I know, okay. I know one thing is z is x plus i y. So what happens is generally you don't uh, look at what you know. x plus i y is z is equal to x plus i y. And I also know z plus 1 over z is k. And k is real. Okay, k is real. So I want you to think what does k is real mean? Okay, they're trying though this is doesn't seem to be important later on you will find this is a very crucial part of this question k is real means a complex number this this is a complex number so this is x is the real part and i y is the imaginary part okay so if k is real indirectly they are saying is there are no imaginary part okay so they're not telling you the negative but the negative is very important there is no imaginary part so later on we'll see this is very crucial so that's what they're looking for whether you can read uh, the things that are hidden okay and a wise peep a wise person is a person who can uh, find the hidden thing okay so this is very crucial so now you wonder okay uh, what am I going to do what can I do so I would say that why don't you simplify this so let me write z plus 1 over z I'm going to relate this information with this information so in, pl in place of x I can put x plus i y plus 1 over x plus i y so I'm going to see what does this simplify to so yeah this is simple uh, simplifying fraction so this is x plus i y times x plus i y plus 1 over x plus i y okay now <coughs> now the next step is of course you would expand this so x times x is x squared plus x y i plus x y i plus okay plus let me write y squared i squared plus 1 over x plus i y now what do you know about i okay i hope you know that i by definition is square root of negative 1 which implies i squared is negative 1 so in place of i squared I can put negative 1 so this will become x squared plus this becomes you can simplify this too this is 2 x y i minus y squared plus 1 over x plus i y okay now you have to rationalize this expression okay, or this fraction by multiplying by the conjugate of this so the conjugate of this is x minus i y over x minus i y so the expansion of the numerator is going to be big so i'm going to go to the left so x squared times x is x cubed x squared times minus i y is minus uh, you can write in any order so I, I like to write like this x squared y i am i right yeah plus 
now you're multiplying with 2xyi so this is 2x squared y i i'll maintain a particular order so i'll write i in the end of course i've written i in the beginning here so now you're multiplying with minus y squared uh, i have made a mistake here mm. uh, no this is right and now this is uh, minus 2 x y squared i squared does it make sense 2 x y squared i squared then with minus so minus x y squared okay and now with this so it will be plus uh, plus minus and minus is plus so minus i y cube then you got plus x minus i y multiplying with negative one sorry plus one over uh, this is a difference of two squares so it is x squared minus i y the whole squared okay so this will become this simplifies to x cube okay now what can you simplify you can simplify this is minus x squared y i and this is plus two x squared y i so that is plus x squared y i uh, now one two three four so got one two three four five six seven eight okay so yeah this has to simplify okay so this will remain as it is plus two x squared y i and this is minus i squared is negative 1. So this will become plus 2xy squared minus xy squared plus iy cubed plus x minus iy over x squared minus y squared i squared. Okay. So this will simplify to x cubed plus what can we simplify here? Yeah. So this will become, again, you can simplify this too. Okay, so this is plus x, uh, x squared y i. What did I do here? Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, this I should have written this and this simplifies so this will not be there okay so this minus x squared y i plus 2 x squared y i will become this and this is yeah so this is only plus x squared y i and this and this will simplify to plus x y squared okay plus a bit tedious and uh, in some question you have to be patient okay if people are looking for how patient you are so this is x squared plus y squared x squared plus y squared okay now what can we do i want you to pause the video for a while and try to do the next step if you can okay so <clears throat> what can you i'm going to try i'm looking for x let me change color i'm looking for x squared and y squared so if you if you take look at this and this can you see an x squared plus y squared if you factor out an x you can see an x squared plus y squared so i'm going to write the next step uh, in red okay so this is equal to x cubed plus xy squared over x squared plus i'm distributing the denominator to each group okay what's the next group where can i see x squared plus y squared if you take this and this i should have used a different color okay so i'm talking about this and this if you take i y common you can see again x squared plus so let me write that plus x squared y i plus i y squared over 
x squared plus y squared. And now you have uh, plus x plus x over plus x over x squared plus y squared minus i y over x squared plus y squared. Okay, so now what will happen? So uh, this is the next question. Uh, I'll delete that. Delete. Okay. So what will happen? So I'll factor out. Uh, what can I factor out? I can factor out an x. So if you factor out an x, you'll have x squared plus y squared over x squared plus y squared. Okay. And if you factor out an i y, you'll have x squared plus y squared over x squared plus y squared. x squared plus y squared, plus x over x squared plus y squared minus i y over x squared plus y squared. x squared plus y squared, my pen is playing up, plus y squared. Okay, so what happens? So this and this can be cancelled, and this and this can be cancelled. Okay. So now, let me change color. So this is nothing but x plus i y plus x over x squared plus y squared minus i y over x squared plus y squared. Okay, x squared plus y squared. Now you have to come back. So this is z plus 1 over z. Now what, what are we saying? So this is nothing but your k. Now what are they talking about k? z plus 1 over z is k and k is real. So there are no imaginary part. Now you can say but z plus 1 over z is equal to k is real. What does that imply? That uh, there is no imaginary part. So this and this is 0. So we can say, so let us simplify this. So can I say like this? So can I say x plus x over x squared plus y squared is the real part. And the imaginary part, if you factor out an r, you have got y minus y over x squared plus y squared times i. The same thing. So you can say z plus 1 over z. Okay. Therefore, as there are no real part, this is 0. Okay. Therefore, I can say y minus y over uh, x squared plus y squared has to be 0. So if you factor out a y, you will have 1 minus 1 over x squared plus y squared is equal to 0. Okay. Therefore, you can say y is equal to 0 or 1 minus 1 over x squared plus y squared is equal to 0. Now, if you simplify this, you can say 1 is equal to 1 over x squared plus y squared. And if you cross multiply, or if you take the reciprocal of both sides, you can take x squared plus y squared is equal to 1. Okay, so these are the two results. So y is 0 or x squared plus y squared is equal to 1. Okay, so this is a very crucial step where you have to say implies that no real, no imaginary part. No imaginary part. Or imaginary part is 0. And that's why I've said that this is nothing but 0. Okay. Uh, hopefully, this video has been helpful. See you in the next video.